Well, reaction, of course, continues to come in after today's decision from the NCAA. Again, the worst case scenario with that banner coming down. Former UofL players are now weighing in as well. And joining us live is Luke Whitehead. He played for Louisville starting in the year 2000, playing under both coaches, uh, Denny Crum and Rick Patino. And you want an apology from someone. Who? Well, I, I was just uh, thinking it would be nice if we could ever get an apology. But uh, it doesn't seem like that's coming from whatever individuals were responsible for this uh, situation in the first place because it seems like everyone else is being punished as far as players and fans and faculty. But we may never get that. I'm just looking forward to the future, and hopefully this could be water under the bridge now. You know, I asked you, I said, do you feel any kind of extra weight on you as a former player to be an ambassador at, of the University of Louisville? There's so much negative right now, but you're always a positive person. So what are you going to do to go out into the community to rep Louisville? Well, you know, I, for me, this is, uh, 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 this is my life. It's part of my life. My father broke the color barrier in the early 60s as a first generation. Cardinal. I'm a second generation in Cardinal. Uh, possibly my son Cash that's 10 years old. He may be a third generation Cardinal. So this is really in my blood. Uh, some people always bring up the fact that I had that horrible fall. So I almost died for this university. So for me, this is something that's in me and it always will be. And I'm a proud Cardinal. Uh, we've been through some tough times, but I think that adversity builds character. And I'm hopeful for the future. Would that apology you're looking for include Coach Rick Patino? I'm not sure. You know, it's it's one of those things where at this point it seems like McGee was the sole uh, conspirer of this this scandal and this situation that's brought so much pain to our university. So it would be nice sooner or later just to hear him say I'm sorry to the city, to these great fans, to this university, and things of that nature. But if we never get that apology, I know that this is one of those things where our future is much brighter than what we've been through, and we're we're resilient. And I know for the most part, we have the best fans in the world. So those true diehard fans that will stick with us and that this is part of their life, I'm really thankful for all of them. But I just think we deserve better. And now it uh, seems like we've cleaned house and it's time for a brighter future. A new chapter. It with, is. Without a doubt. You, you know David Pageant. You know many of these kids who are playing right now. If mm -hmm. you could be in the locker room, think of that game at Duke, for heaven's sakes, of all places. What would you say to rally the troops? I'd say this is a, a great opportunity to start turning things around right now. You know, a big win against Duke would be great. Uh, the fans deserve some positive energy right now. There's a lot of heartbroken people out there right now. Uh, my heart does go out to the players that were on the team. Luke Hancock, the second Luke. I'm the first right. Luke. But my buddy Luke Hancock, you know, um, he, he was the most outstanding player of that Final Four. So for them to say they're stripping away those achievements, you can never take away those memories. That's one thing I do know for sure. I know I'm going away from your question, but um, me and my father actually got to travel to Atlanta and watch the Final you were Four. There. We were there celebrating, watched the Fetty come down for the championship in 2013 and that memory of me of a boy and his father that both were Cardinal players having that together is a beautiful thing they can never take that away so well, we thank you for coming in being Thanks so outspoken me. and uh, telling people don't desert this team show no. up for those games yeah tough time pressure makes diamonds <laughs> good point yeah.